two. Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. We're at day two of the Houston Arcade Expo. As you can see, we're at my booth. Thank you to Michael Suet for watching my table, but I won't bore you guys with my booth. We're gonna look around at some really, really cool stuff. There's all kinds of art and uh, creative projects here, caricatures. And I'm gonna take you over here to this incredible line of consoles and computers set up on free play, obviously. Games from all eras, the old Atari 8-bit. I love the design of the old Commodore monitors. Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? Doing well, man. Got the Apple II set up. Wow, that's a classic. Hey, Sonic, how's it going? Pretty good. Looking good, looking good. Very nostalgic seeing these old computers. I didn't grow up with a computer, but I certainly had friends who did. Ah, the Odyssey 2. Love playing uh, Odyssey 2 with my uh, cousin Marty back in 79 and 80. Now, I've never turned my TV on its side to play a game, but I really think it's cool that you can for certain titles. Gives you an awesome display there. There's a lot of art at this show. Sega. And a PS2 Fatty. I still have my original PlayStation 2, the Fatty, and it still works great. All right, guys, we're going to continue on to see some more of the vendors set up here. How's it going? Good. Good, good. You're good too. Doing well. It's all by hand here. Huh? You, you make all this stuff by hand? Yes, it's my, real, my little tool. Oh, wow. It's my lesson cut. Yep. Very cool. A lot of creative projects on display here at the Houston Arcade Expo. Very cool. And here's one of the few gaming vendors. Hello, Mrs. Hello. Suet. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. You guys have sold a lot. We have. Excellent. Good year. Excellent. You got a lot of good stuff here. Golden Television 3. Hi, right, it's me again. <laughs> looking good, looking good. The Cosplayer's Paradise right here. Hello. If you like fantasy, this is your booth. Hi there. Hello. Hello. I feel like I'm at Scarborough Fair. <laughs> awesome. Much better than Scarborough. You're, you're, Much better. You're at Sherwood. You're yeah. Sherwood. And and unlike Scarborough Fair, you can go next door and play arcade games. Yes. <laughs> and acronyms. Awesome. Thank you. Love it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Hi there. Lots of creative projects on display. Ooh, got some cool 8-bit art here by my buddy Carmen Fielder. Christmas time is coming, about a month and a half off. So Carmen, how has the show been for you today and this weekend? Oh my goodness, it is amazing! Amazing, really good crowd, good turnout, good sales. Great crowd, great turnout, love taking breaks to go play some games. The arcade here is truly phenomenal. So good. Awesome. Well, you have a great show. Thanks. Now, at this show, like I said, there's a ton of art. There's more art here than actual video games for sale. So if you like 8-bit art and creative projects, the Houston Arcade Expo is for you. How's it going? It's going. Good. Very cool. And the man with the pants. The man with the pants plan. He wears what he sells. Yep. <laughs> That's how you do it. You don't sell it, you wear it. Just like the, the fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Good show and he ate it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Have you got, how have sales been this weekend? They've been okay. Okay? Seems like most people are here for the arcade. Yeah, but we're the only people selling toys, so that makes it easy on us. Yeah. <laughs> well, if somebody wants toys, this is definitely the booth to come to. Old and new. Yeah. We all have a good one. You too. Got some graphic novels here, some anime, some DVDs. And there's actually, there's so many arcade games here at the Houston Arcade Expo that they had to put some in the vendor's room. Miss Pac-Man seems to be everywhere. Oh, the Miss Pac-Man cocktail. Cruising World, fun racing game. Trying to get on it all day. All right, guys, let's go on over here to this other row of consoles set up. Looks like we got some uh, Tetris Attack. Is that what I'm looking at? Looks like we got some Doom. Love the Vectrex. And the Mighty Dreamcast. There's the entrance to the arcade. And, uh, I'll have the arcade, uh, you guys need to check out my channel for the arcade uh, run through I did as well. An old school gamer magazine is set up, as usual, they do conventions all over the country and uh, most of you guys probably know I have a column in there called Brett's Old School Bargain Bin. You can subscribe to Old School Gamer Magazine for free, just hit up their website. And they are giving away issues of the magazine here at the show. Ryan Berger, publisher of Old School Gamer Magazine. Adios, if you sir. could, if you could sum up Old School Gamer Magazine in a minute, what would you say? I can get a full minute. Okay. Uh, we cover everything from the '70s original era of video games up to about the '90s. So back when when games only had like two or three buttons. Uh, great columns on the past history of games, stuff that's being rebirthed into current material, cover a little bit of pinball, a lot of arcade, all kinds of stuff. Some great writers, including the guy behind the camera, <laughs> that write for us with every issue. So yeah, if you go to oldschoolgamer.com slash subscribe, get the free digital version of it. And if you want to buy the subscription, we come out every other month, $30 a year. Now, how did Howard Scott Warshaw come to start writing for your magazine? He actually subscribed to the magazine, then sent me an email note saying, I'd love to tell a little bit of my story. And I was thrilled that he contacted me. Really neat guy. Good get. Good, yeah. He's really cool. I've uh, done several shows with him. Really nice guy. All right. Thanks, Ryan. Enjoy the show. Thank you. Hello, Paradise. And this, uh, this really, this reminds me of Helen Gallagher's store in the Northeast Mall when I was a kid back in the back where they had black light posters and glow-in-the-dark posters and all that kind of stuff black lights really neat and again there's so many arcades here that they had to put some of them in the vendors room including journey very underrated arcade game I like that one a lot And the rare Joust pinball machine. Very cool two-player action. And we've made it all the way to the front here. Looks like a custom pinball here. Pretty neat. And we've made it to the registration desk. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm going to get back to my booth. 
and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Hopefully sell a few more books. Signing off. Thanks, guys. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing.